Hey everyone, welcome to another SEO tutorial. This one's about Google My Business and its new functionality of bookings. So if you log into your Google My Business and you see here on the left hand side this option for bookings and it may or may not be there yet. Google is still rolling this out. It's relatively new for different types of businesses and different areas. So as you're here, if you click on bookings, you'll see where it shows you to sign up for bookings. And this is a little tough to understand at first, but let's go see how the public sees it. Okay, so for example, if we just look for fitness in a town, we'll see this. This new button is to schedule, and we'll go ahead and click on it. And we click it, we'll see there's ways that you can go ahead and book. So this is the setup that Google has. Now it's actually through a third party. Let's go take a look at that third party. Okay, so here's the list of the partners that work with Google to be able to reserve and to book. All right, so you have to pick one of these and then you will go ahead and be able to integrate that whether it's through your website or whether it's through Google My Business. Let's go back and take one more look. So here's another a very helpful page and I'll put all these links to these pages in the description below. And this will walk you through the help file on how to set up a, a bookings with a provider. So yes, you have to use one of the Google approved booking companies and you're going to have to have that integrated and then it takes about a week to go ahead and get that actually started now let's talk a little bit bit about the SEO ramifications of this and whether it fits right for your business okay so on that effect the ability for a person to now search for a, a service in a town and be able to schedule directly What's the downside of this to SEO? Well, the downside is that they're no longer going to your website. They're gonna go directly to schedule. So this may hurt, right, your number of visitors that you get on your website, and it may hurt you for other promotions that you have. And of course, all those deeper things like the amount of time, the amount of pages, the unique IPs that are all on top of your website, that's kind of a, a deeper conversation for SEO that we'll save for another time. So that's the downside, right? They're not coming to your website. Another downside that we can see, and we'll go back to that list of reserve partners, is that you have to have to go through one of these third parties. So if you will, you're going through Google, then you're going to go through another reservation place. So if anyone kind of changes the rules in the middle of this, I think you, you see there are some sticking points where it may not be uh, the greatest thing for businesses might be great may not obviously it's going to depend on the business maybe a, a single proprietor who's trying to have everything um, you know more set up for them more automated maybe this makes sense uh, and throw on top of this yet even another factor and that's Facebook Facebook is now doing bookings and Facebook bookings as far as we can see right now are all free where each one of these that are on here the, everyone that we've checked has a cost with them to to run that reservations for you so there's a cost side there's a set up time there's still going to be a management when you think about this you're still going to have to go in and take a look and let's go back so if the person uses this scheduling and and then it's still going to come into someone in the office if you will whether that's even from your phone at home or whether you're in a physical office still going to have to manage this so we'll go back to google my business and take a look so again inside of google my business is how you get there and you're going to have to make that decision for yourself whether this new bookings feature is going to be something that works for your for your business and whether it's the right thing to do you might take a hit on seo and that your website won't rank as well but maybe that works out better for you because you're thinking, okay, we don't want to rely on the website. We want to rely on the business listing since it's higher up on those initial search results. Another helpful thing may be to understand that this is still in its infancy. We really may see a lot of changes in this, and this is as of middle of the year in 2019. So we'll see how this shakes out. All right, I hope this helps with checking out the new bookings feature on Google My Business. You can always contact us over at btfoom.com if you need any help or have any SEO requests or you would like to sign up for more in-depth SEO tutorials. Thanks, and I hope this helps.